Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Monday, February 27th. So we are almost to the end of February. Yeah, I know. This seems hard to believe that we'll be going into the third month of the year here in two days. So I hope you guys all had a good weekend. Uh, we had a good weekend. That is number one on my gratitude list for today. And remember, I'm off this week. Yes. Um, the reporter I work for is on vacation, so that means I'm on vacation. And uh, I'm going to enjoy the time for sure. And I did enjoy today. So my gratitude list, number one, good weekend. So Friday I was done work at a reasonable time. And we wound up going to the restaurant that's right in our town, like right in our neighborhood for dinner. That was really good. And then we went and got ice cream at the gourmet ice cream place. And then Saturday morning, Bill had a fishing flea market to go to, and I just read my Bible, had coffee, you know, and enjoyed the morning. And then got a shower, got cleaned up, and we went to Michael's because I needed a skein of floss for my Carolyn Manning Designs project. Because I know I'm going to run out of the color 3345, and I was seeing the bobbin. So I was like, I need to go there. And I had a $5 voucher, so got to use that. But I did want to go to Hobby Lobby because I don't know if you guys follow the Diamond Art Club VIP group on Facebook, but a lot of Hobby Lobbies have their Diamond Art Club kits marked down on clearance. Not every Hobby Lobby, however. So we went, and I will tell you about that in a minute. Um, number two on my list, coffee. Always coffee. Enjoy it every morning. Look forward to it when I get up. All of that. Number three, I have a week off this week. I, yes, no paycheck, but I really try to enjoy the time when I have off and it's God's will. It's supposed to be what is supposed to be happening. That's how I think about that. Number four, good movies on Amazon Prime. So last night when I stitched, I actually watched that movie called The Secret with Katie Holmes. Um, it was actually really good. I liked it. I liked it very much. And then I started watching God is Not Dead. I've seen that movie before, but it's been a really long time. I recommend that if you haven't seen it. So it's about this kid that's in college and he takes a philosophy course and the professor is a complete atheist, doesn't believe in God. And in the beginning of the class, he wants the whole class to sign a piece of paper that says God is dead. And this boy can't do it. He says, I can't do it. I'm a Christian. And so the professor gives him an assignment. He says, well, okay, you're going to have 20 minutes at the end of the next three lectures to prove your case, to prove that God is alive. And the class is going to decide and it's so good. It is so, and it's, there's a bunch of other people too in the movie where you see how God is affecting their life. It's so good. It's so good. I mean, this kid is a freshman in college and I applaud him so much standing by his faith in the midst of so many people not having any. And you know, that's really hard to do when you are someone who really is faith-based to stand by your convictions with that, right? Because a lot of people do not follow the Bible or believe in it or, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I love that movie so much. So it's on Amazon Prime. So if you have Prime, it's free to watch it. And then number five, Bill, he's always there for me. And besides God, he, Bill is my greatest source of comfort for sure. Um, I'm very grateful that I am married to him. Okay, so Hobby Lobby. There was one diamond painting that I had seen making the rounds at Hobby Lobby that I knew I wanted, and it is Hannah Lynn's Dahlia. When we went to Hobby Lobby, we walked all around that store and couldn't find the diamond painting kits. And I said, maybe they don't have any. Well, we happened to walk down this one aisle and I was looking at something and Bill's like, hey, I found them. They had a bunch. They were not marked down, unfortunately. And they only had one more kit of Dahlia. 
So I sort of hemmed and hauled and Bill said, well, just get it because, so I did. So we're gonna unbox it. So I paid $44.99. Now on Diamond Art Club's website, this kit is discontinued. On Diamond Art Club's website, the kit was only $33.99, but when you think about then paying $10 shipping, paid the same price. Yeah. Um, this kit though marked down would have been like $12. Like that would have been fantastic. But I just thought, okay, it wasn't meant to be marked down at that moment. And if they would have had more than one, I feel like I might've come back and the store was so crowded and busy. I didn't ask anyone, Hey, are you going to have these marked down? I know I had seen something where by March 3rd, they're supposed to have them all marked down. So Dahlia, very, very pretty and cute. It is a square diamond kit. So let's open it up and take a peek. But yeah, so Saturday we did that and we came home and we hung around the house for a little bit. And then we went to um, Sakura for dinner for Charlize's birthday. And that was a lot of fun. Um, Sakura is a Brazilian, Jap Brazilian, it's a Japanese like hibachi place. And I'm telling you, the guy that we had was the best chef that I've ever had there um, in all the times that we've been. He was so hilarious and it was really a good time. We had a good time. And then we got home at about eight o'clock and just watched TV and relaxed. And then Sunday, we got up, went to the grocery store, and then we cleaned out the house, meaning we cleaned out our kitchen cabinets where we have food. And then Bill cleaned out the bedroom closet. He had three contractor bags full of clothes. It was unbelievable, but the closet looks so much better now. I'm so happy. It's so, I walk in there and I don't feel oppressed by the clutter. Do you know what I mean? It's very freeing. So, um, we did that and then um, my stepdaughter and her boyfriend came over for dinner. We had Chipotle, which I love, and I had the leftovers for lunch today. And uh, my stepdaughter and me and my mom and Charlize are going to another designer purse bingo next Saturday. So that should be, or Sunday, I'm sorry, it's next Sunday. So that should be fun. Where instead of winning money for games, they have like Michael Kors, Coach, Kate Spade purses. Yeah, going to be some fun. Okay. Here is the bigger image for Dahlia. Isn't she so gorgeous? I love the, the dragonfly. Very, very pretty. So there are 35 colors in this, three AB diamonds, a pink, a blue, and a white. Um, this has the old toolkit, so no washi tape or um, cover minder, but it has, you know, the tweezers because it's a square one. Yeah. All right. So let's look at the canvas and we'll glance at the diamonds. Like I said, when I unbox this, I do have a sneak peek coming for March. Oh, yes, yes. All right. Diamonds. Very pretty colors in this one. Ooh, look at those colors. Just purples and pinks. And I mean, look at that. Love. All right. Now this one is sideways, I'm pretty sure. So it's because the size of it is 23.2 inches by 16.5 inches. So it's 23 inches wide essentially by 16 tall. All right. And because Diamond Art Club canvases are very, very soft, they're pretty, they're pretty um, forgiving. Ooh, and I've seen this one done. Very gorgeous. Look how big and beautiful her face is and the hair. And then there's the dragonfly. Yeah, this will probably, I, this will, the whole thing will fit on my drafting table. I really love it. I can't wait to do it. Maybe I'll have this be my first square kit that I do because it's been a long time since I've done a square diamond painting. Um, my first two were squares and then that's it. So that was back in... 2018 or 19. I mean, it's been a hot minute. 
but I love it. It's so, the colors in it are so gorgeous. That will be a lot of fun to do. Okay. So I did do some diamond painting. Let me put this back in the box here. I did do some diamond painting and stitching this weekend. I actually, you know, I stayed up late. I stayed up late Saturday night and did some stitching and then last night. And when we got done like everything, grocery store and all that yesterday, I did some diamond painting and I did finish the first section. So I will show you that in a minute. But let's talk cross stitch first. So my progress on my Carolyn Manning Designs piece, I've gotten a good chunk done and I'm enjoying it so very much. So remember, I'm working on Carolyn Manning Designs Chameleon on 28 Count Lugana. And here's my progress. Ha ha! Oh yes! I have some done and you can actually see something happening. Let me turn it this way. You can kind of get the colors look more accurate when I turn it that way. It's so cool. I love it so much. And you know, how I proceed stitching, and I think I talked about this before, is whatever's touching. Like I'll do, like this was all black. And so you don't really have to count because you just are filling it in. Yeah, I love these so much. Love, 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 love. So enjoying it very, very much. And we'll definitely stitch some more tonight and finish the movie because I didn't finish God Is Not Dead, the movie. I started it because I'd already watched Katie Holmes' movie and it was getting late. So I was like, mm, I will stitch more tomorrow. So, you know, when I go to a retreat and I have one coming up in April, I am of the mindset that I want to have it as simple as possible. There are people that literally bring floor stands, floor lamps, all this stuff. No, for me, it has to be simple because I don't want to come home and unpack all that stuff. So I was like, today, I was like, all right, I was originally going to bring the Carolyn Manning designs piece because God knows I will still be working on that come April. It's going to take me. That's eight and a half by eight and a half square fully stitched. That's going to take me a minute to get done. But then I was like, if I can find some pieces to stitch on perforated paper, it would make it so much easier. I wouldn't need to bring a light because I can see the holes really well on perforated paper just in the room. Don't need a stand. And it's going to be crowded in April, so we're going to be tight space-wise. So I belong, and I have like a lifetime membership to a website called Daily Cross Stitch, where she puts out a pattern every day. And they're small, but they're cool. Like so many of the patterns are so, and they're simple, only a few colors, nothing taxing on your brain. So I went on there today, and I said, you know what? I'm going to find a pattern. And the first one that was available today, I loved it and I printed it out. And I decided instead of bringing my big stitching bag and putting it in my suitcase, I'm gonna be carrying this into the stitching room. Mm -hmm. I got this off of Etsy, Etsy, eBay for like $13. Perfect condition. I've had this for a couple years, Vera Bradley. So I decided to use this clipboard that I'm never using, it's been sitting in my closet, to clip the paper to and the pattern. And I will show you the pattern in a second. And then just, um, I actually put the sulky. Oh, I'm stitching it with sulky, by the way, because I did some little experimentation over the weekend. Again, for coverage, like coverage on 18 count paper. And actually, one strand of sulky covers very well. And again, ease. Sulky, you can see it's right there below the DMC cabinet. Sulky comes in a spool like this and it's one strand. It just comes right off the spool. So I don't have to worry about pulling strands out, all that. Gorgeous colors. Now, the only drawback to it is that they don't have as many colors as DMC. That's why I like to use it when I'm only stitching something with a few colors because it's easy for me then to find the colors in the Sulky. So what is the piece I am stitching or going to stitch? And I'm gonna show you because it's free. It says my favorite drink is 
the next one. <laughs> and it's a wine glass. Are you kidding me right now? I saw that and was like, um, yes. Yes, yes. So this color is going to be the wine glass, like a gray color. Black, of course. And then the wine and down here, these two reds. Gorgeous. It's going to be so much fun to stitch. And, you know, it's very easy. I won't have to highlight this pattern. Be very easy to follow. I'm all about easy because if you've ever been to a retreat, you will know that there's really more talking done than stitching. Although we do get some stitching done for sure, but lots of chatting, jibby jabbing, you know? And then I said, well, if I'm feeling ambitious, let me take a second project. Like, and, cause I'm there Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I probably could get done that in three days, maybe. But I kept looking on her site. Oh, and by the way, when I finished that, I have so many of these finishing forms. This is one of the Stitch Etc. boards, I think. Isn't that going to look so cool on that? Yes. Very, very easy finishing. I will mat it with some scrapbook paper. Done. So that's going to go on there. And then I found this one. Now, I have three of these coffee cups. I have this blue one. This is like navy blue. I have like a black graphite colored one. And then I have a white one. So I found this pattern on her site. Life happens, coffee helps. Now, what's nice, I mean, this only costs for three colors. You can stitch it in any color you want. So I wanted it somewhat to match this cup. I want to be able to put it on there. And so the colors I picked out, the coffee color and coffee helps dark brown, which is what this is. But the other colors, the actual cup, I'm going to stitch in this blue. This will match. This will like co coordinate with the cup, the wood cup. And then for life happens and the, this, I'm going to use this gold. So when I held up the colors up against this, and let me try to do this without like spilling it. That's going to be easier said than done. I thought it was going to look really good. I real I was like, that's going to look cool. So that is the plan as well. So yeah, I will link the Daily Cross Stitch website down below. I want to say the lifetime membership only cost me $20 when I did it. And you get every pattern she releases in the future. Yeah, um, that was a no-brainer. And I feel like I've stitched one or two from there. I did stitch a candy one from there. I love it, the Halloween one. She has tons, tons and tons and tons and tons of patterns. And I'm looking forward to using up some of these boards that I have, right? All right, so that was all I needed to talk to you about, except I'm going to show you my progress on my diamond painting. So, yeah, over the weekend, I sat here Friday and then yesterday and was able to finish the first section. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm gonna probably try to sit down. I need to do my nails very badly. It's been almost three weeks since I've done my nails. So while this video is processing, I'm gonna be doing my nails and I'm gonna do my toenails too. But I do hope to sit down here before dinner and at least get the black done because when you peel away more of her hair and um, I am excited to get to those colors. But yeah, I love this one so much. I can't wait to get to her face. Gorgeous. And there are some um, red ABs in the bow, so I'm looking forward to that too. But yeah. So I hope you guys are all having a good Monday and a good start to the week. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.